And now to the Officer David Passard trial. You've all seen the video of the actual crash scene that day in August 2010 when suspended Metro Police Officer David Passard accused of driving drunk and plowing into a group of motorcyclists killing one of them. But now we're seeing what prosecutors say actually happened at the moment of impact through two computer-generated videos shown to the jury. The first reenactment video creates an aerial view of the scene. Prosecutors say David Passard's police cruiser was traveling up to 76 miles per hour when he slammed on the brakes just before hitting the group of motorcycles waiting at a stoplight. It also shows the aftermath of the crash that killed one motorcyclist and injured two others. Now, the second video shows what prosecutors believe was the likely view from inside Passard's patrol car. The jury saw the video yesterday afternoon as prosecutors rested their case. Now, the defense is presenting its case to the jury. Among its first witnesses, officers on the scene just minutes after the crash. That testimony came after those attorneys asked to end the entire case. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt is in Fort Wayne with the very latest. Now that the state has concluded its case, the defense made a motion saying that the prosecutors failed to make the criminal case against Officer David Bazard. The defense moved for a dismissal of all the charges. The judge said no. The defense's case in chief began with the first of many IPD officers to take the stand who had interacted with Bazard at the crash site. They all said they did not smell alcohol. They all said they didn't hear any slurred speech. And they all said they didn't see any visible signs of impairment. One of those witnesses was IMPD chaplain Philip Bacon. Another officer said when he arrived on scene, he saw Bazard kneeling over victim Kurt Weekly. He said Bazard was talking to him, saying, stay with me, man. He was trying to provide comfort, the officer testified. He described Bazard as upset, and at one point heard Bazard complain to other officers, leave me alone, I'm tired of everyone asking me if I'm okay. The defense is expected to call as many as 30 witnesses, some of them experts in toxicology and pharmacology. The judge made it clear he wants both sides to have this case ready for the jury no later than noon Monday. In Allen County, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.